So I know a lot of us are fed up with a lot of these big wig companies like Mattel and Friends who are producing not so great quality dolls and I thought it would be cool today to discover some lesser known dolls, some independent artist dolls, art dolls, one of a kind dolls, indie dolls, whatever you want to call them. So a lot of the dolls that are featured on my list today come from small artists, small companies that are producing a lot of these dolls in small batches. And by small, I mean in quantities of like hundreds. Yes, a lot of these dolls can be pricier and most likely will be pricier than your average doll that you would find at Target or Walmart, but these dolls are mostly handcrafted they, you know, come directly from the artist's mind and therefore the price tends to be a little bit higher. But we do have to remember that these artists are doing it because they're passionate about it. And a lot of what they do is really high quality and incredible work. So let's go ahead and get into this list. Now, I haven't done a ton of research on all of these dolls, so I thought it would be good to kind of discover them together. So. The first one is Julian Kalinowski. Now he's most well known for the Lalka doll. Um, it's kind of like a Build Lily clone um, or inspired by a Build Lily clone. So Julian Kalinowski is very well known in the art doll world. Um, he had an exhibition recently in Los Angeles. Doesn't look like he has a website. Let me look at the um, LA exhibition that he had. Okay, so it looks like he had like a little space um, in this exhibit. I see his dolls here, all the little boxes that they come in. I love this sort of artist statement that he has here. My interest lies in dispossessed characters, lost souls, and lonely types. Maybe my work is also about how gay men have traditionally hidden themselves and could only see themselves betrayed through these fractured archetypes of women. Yeah, I mean, that would explain a lot of sort of interest in Disney villains that a lot of us gay men had growing up. All right, let's go to eBay because I know that he has some dolls for sale. Okay, so Severin is one of his dolls. Let's take a closer look at her. Yeah, I can definitely see the sort of inspiration with Build Lily here, the sort of like clone doll inspiration. And definitely you see the hand-painted quality. I know a lot of these you know, these outfits are all handmade as well. Here is his Julian SRK. I don't know if this is actually him, but seems like it is. Stella, here's another doll. Also giving me very drag queen vibes. I definitely want one of these dolls eventually. I don't own one yet, but I am searching for one. Maybe one of these will be the doll that I get. Sevinal, Sevinal. I don't really know how to pronounce this. It is a vinyl doll, so maybe it is a vinyl. Um, this is another doll. It is inspired by the Caprice doll, which is a French doll, which another artist was inspired by as well on my list, um, but we'll get to them later. But this is the Savinal doll, and I guess the blonde one's name is Solange. Okay, so there's a bunch of images on Flickr. Um, Julian Kalinowski doll maker is the Flickr account and you can see a lot of his photography of the dolls there. So this is Bella Lalka. Very pretty. Yeah, I mean, these are all great. I'm definitely be grabbing one of these in the future. So next on the list is the Anouk doll. Um, I know I mentioned the Caprice doll, which was a doll that came out in the 60s, um, I believe in France, and Anouk was very heavily inspired by that. So let's take a look at Anouk. So Anouk was made by Navdeep and Anouk also has an Instagram I believe. Again another website that I cannot seem to find. I know that there is a website for Anouk. Uh, okay here you go. So this is Fan Fan. Um, this was the latest release. Um, it's Anouk's best friend basically. And then we have Anouk here. And I mean, this looks like straight out of the 60s. Like if I didn't know anything about this, I probably would have thought like, oh, this is a vintage ad. And I know we're talking about a nuke, but this is Fan Fan. And <laughs> I mean, she's giving 100% like clone doll vibes for sure. Yeah, I love it. I mean, I wish I would have gotten one of these when they dropped, but 
Um, I didn't, and I know they sold out pretty quickly, a lot faster than Navdeep thought they were going to sell out, so next time. Okay, so I really had to, you know, dig to find some of this stuff. So this was the very first concept art from 2015. Um, yeah, it looks very 60s. Um, all of these are handmade um, from a place in Spain, apparently. You can definitely see all of the sort of like hand-painted quality that they have. And it seems like he will put some of them in the same outfit, but, you know, with different hairstyles and hair colors. Yeah, I mean, these are gorgeous. I uh, purchased one on eBay, it's a resale, um, so look out for that video, I will be opening one of these up in the future. So the third person on my list is Joey Versa. So Joey does a lot of um, different art dolls. I honestly haven't looked too much into him, but we can do it together. Okay, so he does have a website, it's uh, marymagpie.com, and it looks like he has his available dolls, past collections, um, his contact information. Okay, so <laughs> this is what I like to see. I like to, you know, have everything in one place. So I know he's most well known for the Miss Mary dolls or the Mary Magpie dolls. Um, I'm not sure what the differences uh, between those two are, but um, yeah, I, I definitely get a lot of sort of like retro alien vibes from this. Okay, so this is Miss Mary and it looks like she comes headless and I think that she has like a faceplate that you can you know, remove and, and change her expression. I'm loving their outfits as well. I need to watch some like unboxings on these dolls because they look really interesting and really cool. I, I bet you the unboxing experience is, you know, one of a kind for sure. Okay, so that's some of his past work. Um, let's look at um, some available dolls right now. And it looks like a lot of them are sold out. Um, <laughs> As is the game, you know, I'm late to everything. I love how, you know, weird and strange a lot of these are. This one is not sold out, um, but it has molded on hair. I think I would rather want, like, a wig, but maybe. So Troglins is um, something that I saw on Instagram. It's It seems recent. I thought it was already out. Oh, okay, they are out. I just, you know, couldn't find the page for some reason. So these are the Troglins. Is, am I pronouncing that right? Troglins. And yeah, they're definitely very heavily inspired by those, you know, 80s, 90s trolls. Um, I <laughs> used to play with a lot of these because I wasn't, you know, allowed dolls when I was younger. And these were some of the closest things that I could get to playing with you know, dolls with hair. Oh wow, look at these. And you can select hair colors and eye colors. That's cool. Okay, but like, where do I even, where do I even start? Like, what is, my, what should be my first doll from Joey Versa? If somebody knows where I should even start, like, let me know in the comments. Okay, so I have uh, two more people on our list, so let's get to them. The fourth person is gonna be Mike Buse and his Fabiola of Hollywood doll. So this is definitely one of my favorites um, because she is a Latina fashion model and I am all about Latino representation and fashion dolls. So let's check out, oh, she does have a website, okay. So this is a great website, first of all. <laughs> I mean, like, right away, you can see, like, what this doll is about. I don't know exactly what year this came out, but I know that it was pretty recent. And they are having a drop, um, in a couple weeks. And I don't have one of these dolls yet, so I am, like, all about this. So the doll has, like, a sparkly skin tone. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm loving everything. Let's see how we can shop for some of these. And of course they're all like sold out, but like they are all one of a kind. They look all different. Um, I <laughs> kind of wish they were produced in batches so that, you know, a lot of us could um, get our hands on one. And the price tag is high, but like, I mean, you know, I'd rather save up some money than, you know, buy ten dolls that are coming from Mattel, so. And it looks like, you know, some of them don't come with eyebrows and some of them do come with eyebrows. I know that, like, they 
the ones that don't have eyebrows um, separately, you can like buy or it comes with like stickers that you can put on their faces. And I mean, I just love all these, these fashions. I believe she's like a Puerto Rican sort of fashion model and um, her story is sort of moving to Hollywood and, and trying to make it big. Yeah, I'm loving like all of this, all of these, you know, different hairstyles, these different fashions. Let's take a look at his like latest drop. Okay, so his latest drop is September 24th. All right, yeah, gotta write that down. So the latest one is inspired by Pucci. So it looks like he designed all these prints. Um, which is the first time he's done it and it's he calls it faux Pucci or Fucci. Yeah, I mean, I love this. It's it's so 60s, so colorful. I'm definitely gonna try to grab one of these if I can. And okay, so last on my list is the Miko doll and that's by Xiao K Peng. So let's take a look at his stuff. Okay, so their Instagrams is Miko dolls. Um, oh, this is the old account. Okay, no, this is this is the account. Um, yeah, these are super cute. They have like kind of like a baby face and they come in different skin colors, different hair colors, and the style is... I mean, the style is kind of everywhere. I mean, there's some sort of cutesy stuff. There's kind of some more risque stuff. Yeah, a lot of these are really cute. I love the sort of like painted on eyelashes. Oh, and that hat. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I love this. Uh, I love this. I mean, let's let's check eBay. I want to see... Uh, how do you even buy these? Let's see. Okay, I'm seeing like a lot of blank faces. Does it say on his Instagram like how you can like purchase these? No. Cool. Okay, well... I'll have to do a little bit more research to see how I can purchase these. Ooh, look at this one. Wow, I love the hair on that one. The barrel curls. Ooh, so good. I love this one. I keep, so I keep coming back to this one. I don't know what it is. It's like cottagecore fantasy, <laughs> but I'm really loving it. Um, how do I purchase you? How do I get you? Okay, so we're gonna have to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed me struggling to find a lot of these artists work. Yeah, I'm hoping that I can buy some of these and open them up in front of you guys so that, you know, we can all sort of like share in the experience of all these independent doll artists producing really great work. All right, so that is it for me today. If you like this type of content, let me know if I miss some person or some other doll artists that are not on the list, um, let me know. I can probably make another one of these. But that is it for me, so I will see you on the next one. See ya!